welcome to Jemkim. Now today's video is a new topic, ionic bonding. Now before starting, you can watch all of the videos of BSc in Organic Chemistry of Atomic Structure, Redox Chemistry and Periodic Properties. It is also available in the channel. I will give the link in the description box as well as the i button present above this video. Now let us start this video. So here we will deal with bond lander equation with derivation, importance of Kapustinsky expression for lattice energy and Madelung constant. Now in this video we are only going to introduce what is Madelung constant and in the next video we will go into details. Now if you are new to JMKM do not forget to subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates. Now let us start. Now what do we mean by lattice energy? It is defined as the energy required to separate a mole of an ionic solid into the gaseous ions. So it is basically the energy required to break an ionic solid into the gaseous ions. Now what is the way to measure the lattice energy? So we can see that it cannot be measured empirically but can be calculated using electrostatics or estimated using bond haber cycle. Now this bond haber cycle what is it will also be dealt in the series of ionic bonding. Now we will deal with the derivation of an expression of lattice energy and in this derivation we are going to derive the bond lande equation. Now here we consider an ion pair separated by a distance r and assuming that the ions are point charges. Now when these two ions are brought closer to each other then the energy of the system decreases. Why this occurs? Because there is an attraction until a minima which we can see in the graph right and when we bring the ions even more closer there occurs a sharp increase in energy as evident from the curve. Why this increase in energy occurs? Because then repulsion comes into play. Now if we consider Z plus and Z minus are the multiples of electronic charges over cation and anion respectively then we know from the physics that electrostatic energy of attraction can be given as E equal to minus 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Z plus Z minus E square by R. So this is the formula for electrostatic energy of attraction. Now we will see this graph in details. Now see actually this one is our Coulombic potential if we consider. This is our Coulombic potential where on increase in distance there is de increase in energy whereas on decrease in distance between the two ion pairs there is decrease in energy whereas in case of repulsion on increase of distance the repulsion causes decrease in energy whereas on decrease in distance see here the radius is decreasing so the repulsion is increasing so on taking this repulsive potential and coulombic potentials resultant we get a graph like this which we have seen here right now it should be noted that in a crystal lattice each cation and anion suffers attractive interaction from the unlike ions that is if we see for cation suppose then if anions are present there is an attraction but also an repulsive interaction with the closely spaced like ions like if cations are placed and another cation is placed then there is a repulsion. Then there is repulsion and attraction and all the summations of geometrical interaction is referred to as Madelung constant. So here we can get an idea what is Madelung constant and the Madelung constant is taken as A. So the previous formula of electrostatic attraction followed by a term of A. So EC that is Coulombic potential is given by minus A by 4 pi epsilon naught Z plus Z minus E square by R. Now the value of A can be determined mathematically from a converging series using computer program. Now what do we mean by converging series will be discussed in details in the next video. Now in addition the ions are also subjected to repulsive interaction at close ranges since they are not point charges. So here we have dealt with attraction now we are going to deal with repulsion. Now see here few Madelung constant values are being given for few structures. Now we will deal with only present concept. Old end concept is not required for us. So these are the values. Now we will deal with the repulsion term. So Bond suggested that the repulsive energy may be expressed as ER. And ER is given by B by R to the power N. 
Now B is the repulsive coefficient which is a constant and N is the Born exponent. It is measure of the resistance that ions exhibit when forced to approach each other close. So there is a resistance when ions comes closer. So the force which is required that is the resistance which is generated is known as N and it can be determined using the compressibility data. Now the total energy for one mole of crystal lattice containing Avogadro number of unit basically we are getting the lattice energy is equals to Avogadro number multiplied by EC that is Coulombic potential plus the repulsive potential. So we just substitute the value of 1 and 2 here and we get this kind of expression and this expression is important. Now we have already obtained this expression. In order to determine the lattice energy, we have to consider the condition of minima and the condition of minima tells that derivative of u with respect to r that is the distance between the two ion pairs in minimum condition is equal to 0 and if we derivatize this expression that is present here, we see r comes to be as r0 r whole square and r to the power n comes to be as r0 n plus 1 and this expression is equal to 0. Now if we take all the terms in the left hand side and left with b then we get the expression of b which is the repulsive coefficient. Now on substituting the b in equation 3 which is present here we get the ultimate expression of u0 which is our born lande equation. So this equation is being obtained and this is a born lande equation and here r0 is put in the unit of meter. Now on substituting the value of n, e as well as epsilon naught pi, we can get the value as u0 equals to minus 1.39 into 10 to the power 5 z plus z minus e square by r0 into 1 minus 1 by n kilojoule per mole. And this is expressed in kilojoule per mole where the r0 is expressed in picometer. Now, on the more rigorous treatment on expression of the lattice energy was done by Mayer and this equation is born mayer equation. During the calculation of repulsive potential this vigorous treatment was done and finally arrived at an equation where all parameters are same except this expression is being replaced by rho by R0 where rho has a fixed value of 34.5 picometer. Now, what is the usefulness or importance of Kapustinsky equation in deriving the lattice energy? If the lattice type is unknown or unusual, then the Madelon constant for it will not be available and for such lattices, the Kapustinsky equation has to be used. And here the u0 is equals to minus 1.2 into 10 to the power 5 into z plus z minus by r0 multiplied by 1 minus 34.5 by r0 kilojoule per mole and, and here x is equals to total number of ions in the formula of ionic compound. What does it mean? Suppose we have NaCl so number of ions is 2 so x will be 2. So here we end this video and in the next video we will deal with few sums on these equations and Madelon constant and details. So hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment.